in Scott Base, we're on a volcanic island. Um, Mount Erebus is at the centre of that island. Surrounding that is sea ice and ice shelf, so for a long way in every direction it's very flat and white. And in the distance, about 90 kilometres away, you can see the Transantarctic mountain range. They stretch the full width of Antarctica and we get a pretty good view of those. <laughs> helping them to understand what explorers have done and how we've got to where we are now, that's quite a heartfelt moment. It is quite breathtaking. For me, I took a first step off the plane, minus 42 degrees centigrade, and it really does hit you. And for me, it was my nostril hairs starting to freeze. In Antarctica, there's not a great deal of things that smell. That sounds a bit weird, but most of it's ice and rock. Penguins seem to come in two varieties for us in that area of the Ross Sea. Uh, we have emperor penguins, which are a bit taller and beautiful animals. And then we have Adelie penguins, which are much smaller, but then far more playful. I'd say he's courageous. I would say he's ambitious and I'd say he's brave. He seemed very confident and he seemed very happy. He's definitely brave, but yeah, it's very inspirational to see someone doing what they love doing. Just get out there and go for walks, climb mountains, rock climb, whatever it is you like doing. And you'll find that there's places in the world that suit those things that you like and you should probably just go there.